In this video we are going to study instrumental variables with two stage least squares in R. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into R Studio. So the first step within the video is we need to load the corresponding packages. Therefore, we comment this as step one, packages. And for loading packages, we use library function and within it the name of the package. So for this video, we'll be using AER for data and for two stage least squares. To run this code line as it is a single code line, we select any part of it and we can either click run or we can press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For data, we'll be using data function and within it the name of data object, which is house prices. This house prices object is located within AER package. So to run this code line as it is a single code line, again, we select any part of it and now we're going to press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. As we can see, this creates the house prices object within the global environment as a data frame. And if we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon, this opens the data for us. In this video, we're going to focus on the following columns. First, at price, which is our dependent or explained variable, and then we have it being explained by the independent or explanatory variables, lot size, and bedrooms. And then we have as instrumental variables, driveway and garage. If you have any questions regarding this data, you can go into the help tab and search for the object name, which is house prices. Select it, and then you'll see the documentation below. So then we continue with step number three, which is the model. For this, we're going to create an object named MLR1, which stands for multiple linear regression one, and it is equal to, and here we'll be using LM function and within it the following parameters, which are formula equals to, and we have price as the dependent or explained variable, special character means being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms, data equals to the house prices object that we created at the beginning. So to run this code line, we go ahead and press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And then we're going to continue with step number four, which is instrumental variables. And for this, we're going to do two stage least squares. For two stage least squares, we're going to create an object named MLR2, which stands for multiple linear regression 2, and it is equal to, and here we'll be using IBREG function and within it the following parameters, which are formula equals to, and we have price as the dependent or explained variable, special character means being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms, and then we have bar bedrooms plus driveway plus, and at the following row we have garage comma data equals to the house prices object that we created at the beginning. So if you have any questions regarding this IBREG function, you can either search for its name within the help tab or also you can input here question mark IBREG function without parenthesis, pressing enter on the keyboard and you'll see the documentation within the help tab as well. So the way two stage least squares estimation works is as follows. So first we have the original model in which we have price as the dependent or explained variable, and then we have as independent or explanatory variables, lot size and bedrooms. But we're going to make an important distinction between these two, and that is that lot size is the endogenous explanatory variable because it is assumed correlated with MLR1 model error. And then we have bedrooms as the exogenous explanatory variable because it is assumed not correlated with MLR1 model error. And then we have the instrumental variables of driveway and garage. And these instrumental variables have three requirements. The first is that they do not appear in MLR1 model, which is the case. The second is that they are assumed correlated with lot size endogenous explanatory variable. And the third is that they are assumed not correlated with MLR2 model error term. And two stage least squares estimation is done as follows. So first we have the first stage regression in which 
lot size endogenous explanatory variable becomes the dependent variable and then as we can see after the bar bedrooms exogenous explanatory variable together with driveway and garage instrumental variables as explanatory variables and then we have the second stage regression in which we have price as the dependent variable and then instead of having lot size we have the first stage regression fitted values together with bedrooms exogenous explanatory variable as explanatory variables so important observations regarding this two-stage least squares is that notice that doing two-stage least squares manually with LM function would estimate correct coefficients but incorrect standard errors and incorrect F statistic. Also, notice that in this two-stage least squares estimation, it is assumed that MLR2 model errors are homoscedastic or with constant variance. So let's go ahead and run this code lines by selecting them. And then we're going to press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And now we're going to compare the results from this two stage least squares with the original model. So first let's do a comparison of the coefficients table. So we do so by creating object SMLR1 and within it we are going to store the summary and within it we have object equals to MLR1 and then we're going to create the object name SMLR2 equals to and here we have summary and within it we have object equals to MLR2 comma test equals to F so that it performs the F test. So we're going to select these two code lines here and we're going to press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard and to print the coefficient tables, we do so with the following code lines, which is SMLR1. And with the dollar sign, we get its coefficients with the coefficient table. And similarly, SMLR2 with the dollar sign, we get coefficients table. So to run this code lines here, we select them here. And then we press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And we can see the coefficients tables being printed right here within the console. So first we have the coefficients table from the original regression and then we have the coefficients table from the two stage least squares. So for the original regression we have the intercept, lot size and bedrooms and for the two stage least squares we have intercept, lot size and bedrooms. But an important observation regarding these two stage least squares is that instead of lot size data from the house prices object we have the first stage regression faded values. And in both cases we have estimates standard errors, t-statistics, and p-values. And when we compare all of this, we see that they all are different. So now let's go ahead and print f-statistics. So we do so with SMLR1. With the dollar sign, we get its f-statistic. And from SMLR2, it's found within world test. So we select these two code lines here and we press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And right here within the console, we can see the F statistic from the original regression and then the F statistic from the two stage least squares. And when we compare the values, we see that they are different as well. Okay, so with this, we finish with the code file so we can go ahead and save it. And with this, we also finish with this video. Thank you for watching.